The prophet was in a matatu and he saw a young man wearing earphones. And the Lord opened his eyes and he saw snakes going around his head. Because what the young man was listening to was not just sound, it was ordinations. And we are coming there. I bless God they gave me good time. I told them I'm not coming to preach, I'm bringing a lecture. Lessons are for, uh, what do they call them? Lessons are for secondary school. Where people do exams and pass. Lectures are for graduates. Now I didn't come with a lesson. I came with a lecture. Because you must graduate in the spirit. Now, this devil knows how powerful music is. And it is like music had been contained for a while. Because the music we have in our day began possibly in the 40s, 50s. The ones we have, this pop, sound, instrument, rock, all that began around that time. So in other centuries, they just had melodies and instruments. But now, the technology of sound began in that time. And when that sound began, that technology of sound, when it began, all categories of music have an agenda. Now let me come home. We have a few. Begin from Africa. You go to West Africa, they have the Afrobeat, which is a cocktail of urban sound. And West African tum -tum, traditional sound. That is it. You go to West Africa today. The leading musicians are into rituals and sacrifice. You can never get fame and popularity until you define your kingdom. And there are two kingdoms. Light and darkness. This thing is not about talent only. And this is what the devil does. The devil has no talent. Talent is given of God. So the devil partners with talented men to sell his agenda. That's why majority of the people who sing, they are talented, but there is an agenda they are selling. Some of these people, they tell you their names. Because when you go now to West Africa, their witchcraft is real. It's not a story. There they don't hide. Money ritual is real. Some of the videos, I watch them. And I was telling the team I need to do my research well and package it well so that we can be having time and watch some of those videos. Some of those videos are 100% initiation into occultism. There is one I was watching. I don't know you are with the big boys. The video is 100% initiation. But you see, because we are too blind to see, we just think, oh, you know, it's entertainment. Some of those people are given names that are very demonic. <laughs> One of them is called a wizard kid. You put it in short form, you know what it means. We, we just think it's Afrobeat. But in those areas, those areas, it is not Afrobeat. It is songs that have an agenda of provoking a certain frequency in the spirit. I, I went to Nigeria. You, you, Nigeria is now half-half. Those who are in secular are a hundred wicked percent secular. Those who are in the Lord, they are in the Lord. And that's why Kenya needs to come. This thing of gray area must end. That we are doing gospel in as a church of a club. No, no. Every environment has its own sound. Because that sound provokes motions of spirits. The day our songs were being played in clubs, it was mockery. But they are lifting alcohol because that's their dawa. It was not evangelism. It was mockery. Have you ever heard the songs of Don Moen being played in a club? It will change environments. And anytime you begin to see now drunkards playing gospel, Mogidi playing gospel, it is mockery. It is a dishonor to the God that we serve. Hallelujah. 